What's going on everyone? We've got here the 2021 Specialized Scott Scale 940 in a medium. It is carbon fiber. Weighing at 27 pounds, seven ounces. Uh, no pedals. You do got this dork disc on here and uh, it's not tubeless. Kilos, it is 12.43 kilos. Thank you guys. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is GC Performance here back with another video. Today I have for you guys the 2021 Scott Scale 940. Uh, this bike is a medium. Retail on this thing is $1,700, and this is a full carbon uh, hardtail mountain bike. So I kind of want to get into uh, the the components on it, talk about the bike, and I mean $1,700 for a full carbon fiber frame of a mountain bike is a hell of a deal. So I want to go over uh, the cost of it. They also make it in a red color as well. I don't have that color here, but uh, I think they're sold out for the year. But I at least have this black granite, which looks amazing, and also. Um, the weight, I don't know right now because I didn't wait yet, but you guys will see it probably before I do. So, you know, check the video. Okay. <laughs> um, but yes, so Scott scale 940, 2021. Uh, I remember a day back in the day when hard tails that were, that were carbon fiber that were, uh, they, they didn't, they didn't start around like 22, $2,400. So I mean, 1700 bucks for a, for a, for a hard tail carbon fiber bike is an insane deal. Um, starting off with the components, we have a here a aluminum handlebar, Scott Synchros is a 31.8 diameter. You have a Scott Synchros stem on here. Uh, this is the Synchros FL 2.0. Synchros is known for using a T25, so all these uh, measurements or all these bolts right here will be a T25 tool. So just remember that if you do ever have to make adjustments, T25 here, T25 here, and also T25 here. So keep that in mind. Uh, you're gonna get the Scott Synchros bolt-on grips, nice lock-on grips. They work really well. Uh, the brakes on here are just going to be a regular base model Shimano brake. Uh, and that's why you're going to see this bike being for 1700 bucks. You're going to maybe skimp out maybe on the uh, brakes being a little bit less quality. And also the drivetrain. Still, you're getting a 12 speed, but we'll talk about that once we get to it. So, um, Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. They use a mineral oil. These still work really well. Just kind of got to bed them in. And just a regular Shimano uh, base level caliper down there as well. Wheels on here are going to be the Scott Synchros X25. Just an aluminum wheel. It is a through axle wheel, so they're using the RockShox through axle on here. Uh, this is a boost compatible wheel as well. So benefit that this is a through axle and not a skewer or quick release, which is nice. Uh, it is a 15 by 110 as well. Tires are this nice gum wall Schwab, Schwabby, Schwabby tire. And this is the Rapid Rob, and I believe it is a 20, here we go. 29 by 2.5 and it is a tubeless ready system i believe they do come with the uh, valves on here as well get out of your leaf and they do come with a uh, tubeless valves as well to make this tubeless ready so the rim is tubeless ready the tire is tubeless ready all you just need is a tubeless fluid and you're good to go uh the wheels are a centilock rotor you have here just a base model shimano rotor on here again still a great rotor but it is a little bit heavier than the other rotors that are on there the front suspension is a rock shock judy this is a new forge for the lineup here you do have their uh lockout with a remote on here so you can re actually remotely lock this out while riding so you don't have to reach down and grab the crown of the fork which is nice it is an air shock as well and this is about 100 millimeters of travel actually you know what yes 100 millimeters of travel with a 42 millimeter offset for the rake so very aggressive which is nice that's what the uh the old epics used to be but you're, you'll see more and more hardtails come out now with a 51 millimeter offset but it's a 42 millimeter offset with 100 millimeters travel uh, and this can be adjusted to your weight. They have a nice little shock chart right there. So if you do want to do this at home, if the shop doesn't, uh, if the shop doesn't set this up for you at home or at the store, uh, you can go home with a shock pump and kind of pump it up yourself. But you do have this nice little remote uh, lockout remote right here. Go and push this down. So they have this here locking lever. Uh, this is going to be like you know their patent and kind of quick release on here. So you can actually use a remote lockout. Push that in. There's actually push that in. That's gonna lock out, you can see right there. And now that fork will become completely rigid to a point where it's gonna be almost like a full on hardtail to gain more speed, which is great. Uh, going down the frame, as you can see, it's a beautiful paint job. I mean, you got a gloss black or graphite color up here. You got the scale and kind of like a silver color and then you have a matte graphite, which looks really sick. Two water bottle holder cage right here. Boom, boom. Uh, you have a mount here for a front derailleur if you want to add that. Uh, this, I don't know what that is for, but I would guess maybe a dropper post if you want to to run it internally. Uh, you have on here a SRAM SX crank. It is aluminum with a dub bottom bracket and a 30, 
two tooth chain ring. You have a SRAM SX chain and a SRAM SX uh, cassette in the back, a 10 tooth cog by 52 tooth in the rear. This is a 12 speed drivetrain. You still are getting a carbon fiber frame with a 12 speed drivetrain, which is absolutely amazing for the price point. I mean, 1700 bucks, you can't beat that. You have a SRAM NX rear derailleur. But like I said, the reason why it's $1,700 is that you're gonna get a little bit skimped out on the parts. Like you see, you see how they put this SX crank on here instead of an NX crank. Um, same with the shifter. This is the SX shifter. It just is more, it's not a bad shifter, but the, the shifter paddle is plastic. And this is also plastic, whereas if you upgrade to like a GX or I think maybe even NX, this is a metal or alloy. So think about in the future, those parts are interchangeable and they're fairly cheap. This is 40 bucks, 30 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, sorry, 40, 50, 60 bucks for like a GX or like an uh, NX shifter, which is nicer. You're not gonna much play here and it's gonna feel a little bit more uh, expensive, if that makes sense. Um, seat post on here is just a regular alloy synchro seat post. You have a little quick release lever here with a T25 tool there, so you can adjust this on the fly. Saddle on here is gonna be a Scott Synchros Belcara. Um, again, the rear is gonna be a through axle and it's gonna be a 15 by 148. You have the little uh, uh, through axle tool right here or where it would be at, I think it's inside, but you can go ahead and loosen this up. It comes right out. The tire on the back here is going to be a Rapid Pro, I'm sorry, Rapid Rob as well. And I think it's going to be a full suit with a 29 by 2.25. Let me just make sure. Uh, yeah, 29 by 2.25. Um, and again, these are tubeless ready. So, but yeah, if you're looking, so what this bike, who this bike would be for, if you're looking for a mountain bike, well, one, I'm astounded that we even got this. This is a medium, this is in stock. We're selling this in our store. This is a 2021. This is the first time we saw this bike in the whole year and the year's almost over for model year 2021. But this is a a great, almost entry level bike. If you want to get in the game of, you know, maybe doing some competitive mountain bike racing, you have the carbon fiber frame, which is gonna be a little bit lighter than the alloy. It's gonna be more compliant as well. Uh, a little bit easier to lift up over stuff, but it's a badass bike. And then you have a great starting point with this frame that you can upgrade down the road. It's compatible with all 12 speed stuff. You can put on different wheels if you like. It's all through axle front and rear. So this bike can really, you could take this bike, buy it for 1700 bucks, upgrade as you want. And uh, hell, you'd be really happy with it. It is a press fit bottom bracket by Scott. I think it's a BB88 by 92, whatever it usually is, but still not a bad bike at all. RockShock Duty ain't a bad bike or ain't a bad fork with that air uh, PSI in there. Really not bad at all. But all in all, for what you're getting for that money, it's a hell of a deal. I haven't, had, I haven't seen a $1,700 carbon fiber hardtail ever. I used to tell people to get in that price range, you have to buy Chinese. So really good looking bike. You can really see that graphite kind of shine in the sun right there. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'll have the uh, pictures of the bike and the free of body sound test on this wheel and then also the weight of the bike at the beginning of the video. So thank you guys so much again for checking out the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right guys, we got here the 2021 Scott Scale 9. 40. Here comes the free body sound test. Not a lot of engagement, but it's the effort that counts. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.